Hi, it's Margie with the Asking Spot. Got another great curb find to work on. It must be nice. It must be nice. Now, I understand not everybody gets great curb finds. You know what, though? Charity and thrift shops have lamps for days. Lamps, clothing, jewelry. I really, I don't even understand why anybody would buy a new lamp because there's just so many out there. And you can tweak them and make them really cool. Or at least I hope, because that's what I'm going to do with this one. I mean, technically, for some folks' taste, all this needs is a good cleanup, and it's good to go, because it's not really messed up, just dirty. However, this kind of lampshade, yeah, uh, I didn't like them when they were popular. And I get it. They take a lot of work to make. It's a talent and a skill to do that kind of, I can't remember the word. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's going to go away. And hopefully what I have planned for that will look super cute. We'll see. To protect it, I'm going to go ahead and put some saran wrap on this. plan is to actually use the internal frame and the plastic line between it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. I don't right. know what it's called. I'll look it up. Um, so I'm going to try and gently take all this stuff off and see how it goes. Oh, huh, it's kind of a noisy task. Let's time lapse this. Here's where it all started to go wrong. Ah, oh, bummer not going to be able to save this. Uh, Done that. But Plan B. My thrift shop's not too far away, so I'll pop over there, see if they've got a lampshade of similar size where I can carry on with my project. Back in the flash, Kate. So, went to my charity shop, and they did have lampshades, but they were too big, or they looked like this, and that's not what I wanted. And then they had smaller lampshades, but they were on lamps. So if I bought them, the whole thing would only be five bucks. But then that would have left me with a lamp that didn't have a lampshade and just start a big vicious cycle and we'd have way too many lamps. So I went off to Wally World, aka Walmart. They didn't have the right size. I tried my local hardware store and yes, they have the right size. Not a particular fan of it. Kind of looks like gauze, but that's all right. I'm going to cover it. But check this out. Remember at the charity shop, I could buy a whole lamp for $5? Lampshade alone on sale is 11 bucks. So yeah, go to your thrift and charity shops first. The plan is to cover this with a fabric I picked up at the thrift store. First though, I need to make a pattern for the fabric and it's just about lining it up, finding a seam to follow that's the start and then you just run around a pencil around the outside both the top and the bottom so you can get a good measurement of it. For whatever reason, this becomes quite the complicated thing for me to do. I think it's because I rush it too much. So I'm going to try and slow it down as I go and get it right. Then I need to put at least a quarter inch, I think that comes out to like two centimeters excess on either side and a half inch on one side of the length. And that way, I will have enough to be folded around the bottom and top edges, and it should look pretty great, but we'll see. I have the fabric matching and cut out to the form of the pattern, and I did do it a little bit larger because the pattern seemed a little small. That's all set. Now to adhere it to the lampshade. Now the lampshade is fabric, it's fabric, so the logical choice would be fabric glue. But fabric glue? is my nemesis. All right, calm down. Um, yeah. I tried to make a monster eye with it, and it was not fun doing one of those. All right, so seeing as I have attached fabric before, uh, you can see the video I did on some furniture. I'll put that link down there using Mod Podge. I also think I could just use some watered-down school glue. I think that might work, too. But this has been safe and lucky for me before. If it doesn't work, I will resort to using my nemesis. Never! Let's hear it for the epic fail. Um, 
Yeah, the no. This is what it looked like. Not good. Yeah, it's not good. So back to square one. I went ahead and took it all off. Um, luckily, I saved my pattern piece. I could just wash the original fabric, and I did put it in the wash, but as long as I have so much excess fabric, I'm gonna try a whole nother route. Now for a complete change of mood. I'm all on my Kinda wanted to paint it red, but instead I'm gonna go with a matte black. And it's light coats, because if you try not to do the whole thing in your first coat and focus on, oh, I'll get it on my second coat, you're more likely to have success when it comes to spray painting. We need a top coat. Oh no! All right, here's what happened. Well, and yeah, I am definitely. She's pretty pissed. Upset. Not happy about it yet. I'm getting there because I looked into what caused it. And yes, it's operator error. Um, Temperature wise, they don't want it too hot and they don't want it too cold. And I didn't think it was too cold here because, you know, hey, I'm still wearing a t shirt. But we are having a cool front here. So we did get below 65, as in 64, really? Um, but apparently that is an effect. I think more likely it also was in certain areas. I just had sprayed too much. That can do it. And if it's too humid, which that's another cause, but it wasn't playing a role this go around. So, get to the results. What do you do with it now? Option one, you could sand it down once it's completely dry, then sand it down and start all over again. Or option two, notice I said you could take that one because I'm not. <laughs> option two is you just leave it. It's crackled. It's kind of a finish. It's a thing. I'll leave it. I might tweak it and do something with it to highlight it, but more than likely I'm just going to leave it as is. All right, time to work on the lampshade. It was such a mess. I was going to try and do another round of the fabric over the top of it, and I was just getting so frustrated. I thought, I should just paint it. No, not paint it like I did before with the other lampshade with the chalk paint. Um, that one got a lot of angry comments. I imagine this is going to get a few too, because what I did so I decided I'm gonna spray paint it. And I'm gonna use a can of spray paint that I bought for a different project that I didn't use. I ended up going with something else that was uh, the black chair with the copper legs. Links below and up, everything. Loved that. Um, but this time I'm going with this paint. And this is the results. Now the camera's not really picking it up, but it's it's sparkly-ish and pretty and metallic-ish all at the same time. And I know there are a lot of people who are gonna be like, Ugh, that's gross, don't like it. You know what, it's not about my end result. It's kind of about inspiring whatever your result would be. I know you can make something better than what I did, but whatever you make, as long as you're happy in the end, that's all that matters because we've managed to keep something from going into the landfill. Remember, this was a curved find. So, how does it look? Well, let's go back to how it started. And if you could, please consider subscribing. And now here is the final results. Not everybody's cup of tea, but I am thrilled with it. And I hope you are inspired to do something like this too. Thanks so much for watching the Asking Spot. Uh, bloopers and bonus are coming up next. with my antique phones that alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Unfortunately, the lampshades they had were not. I had a dog laying underneath me. It's moved around. It takes a lot of work and craftsmen to do. Or crafts work, a lot of craft work. Skill, that's the word. <laughs> Got my fabric finally cut out to size, matching the uh, Inside it's matching the pattern. There we go. I'm having a good time. So I won't. <laughs> Another thing for the blooper reel. I am going to use, well, I'm actually not going to use. <laughs> I 
This is going to be a long blooper reel. It turned out I... More time on the blooper reel. One, you can say, wow, a lot of planes are flying through. That's three. That's three in under five minutes. And I don't know why I get afraid of flying. Because planes fly all the time. Phew watching the asking spot got boopers bloopers and hopefully we'll have a fabulous finish